Sibling rivalry meets hearty, unpretentious food head-on as the Herbert brothers show off a new side to baking in TLC's excellent new cooking show, The Fabulous Baker Brothers. With five generations of baking tradition behind them, Herbert brothers Tom, a baker, and Henry, a chef who runs the local butcher's shop next door, are the affable experts taking us into the heat of their quaint British artisan kitchen to give us the inside scoop on the art of baking, which has been honed through years of practice and passion. Well, I think because it's what we do, um, once you've mastered something, and that uh, the bare minimum takes 10,000 hours, doesn't it, to master your thing. Yeah. So once you've done that, then, um, well, we enjoy, we play with what we do. So, you know, you'll find, if you visit our bakery, Hobbs House, you'll find, you know, a bread chandelier, and uh, we, we do crazy stuff. Not all of it works. There's some disasters in there. Mm. But we, we love to push the boundaries and find new ways. But very often, the good stuff is when it's really yeah. simple. Yeah. Yeah. And what we find is that, you know, we've got five generations of heritage, and uh, you know, there's kind of there's recipes that have been the same for five generations, and the reason why they've they're still going is because they've lasted the test of time and they're delicious, and right. they don't need uh, improving. But we're always looking to new trends because you've got to keep it diverse, keep people coming back, you know, yeah. keep it exciting. Through their delicious recipes, packed with full-on fillings, tempting toppings, and awesome accompaniments, Tom and Henry are on a mission to wow the world with their easy-to-make, oven-baked, crusty creations. Um, our grandfather, he believed anyone could bake. Mm. And um, so that's kind of a mantra we've taken on. So he would literally take people from the street or fresh out of prison mm. and give them a job. Yeah. And now not everyone survives or works yeah. out, but yeah. if you want to, yeah, you can. Now, of course, baking can be made hugely complex and complicated. Uh, you know, make a big confection, it's not easy. Mm. But if you want to make good bread or a decent cake or a nice pie, uh, you just need good ingredients and a bit of time, that's it. And I think it's all just process, so you know, it's using your hands, so you know, it's all about feel and touch and knowing what to look for. And that really comes down to practicing, learning off people, you know, just getting your hands stuck in there. And our TV show and the books that we've done have been an opportunity to kind of share some of the skills and insights yeah. to make it simple and demystify. Like, it's not difficult. Mm. Um, it can be really fun, and anyway, it tastes great. Besides putting the hours in at the day job, that is running Hobbs House Bakery, the renowned award-winning one-stop bakery and butchery located in one house on Chipping Sodbury High Street, Tom and Henry are also no strangers to media work. Besides being talented journalists who have contributed regularly to food publications and newspaper columns, they also happen to be stars of their very own television show, The Fabulous Baker Brothers, an entertaining and informative viewing experience which sees the Herberts dishing out eats manly enough for men and suitably scrumptious for the ladies. Well, firstly, you've got to tune in TLC, Channel 707, Wednesday, 7.30. Yeah, so that's the first thing you have to do. We pick a theme for each show. Mm. The next one coming up is Love, um, and then we've got Long. So yeah. once we've got our theme, then we, we found a group of people that we feel represent that. So, and then we cook for them. We come up with a pie each. So a bit of it is us just kind of working out uh, the best recipes that are going to that these people are going to love, and then they try both of our pies and, and, vote and they favorite. vote for their favourite. And then we also make uh, some nice three nice recipes that kind of fit that theme. And there might be a pudding and maybe a savoury one and a loaf. But it's, it's very high energy, a lot of fun, you know. The way Tom and Henry tell it, branching out into television was just a natural next step, thanks to the growing popularity of their family business as well as their individual profiles. <laughs> It's just a kind of trajectory through um, focusing on doing what we're doing as well as possible. So we start winning awards for our bread and for our shops and things. And that gets you attention. So now if a reporter's like Googling Baker, then you kind of come out near the top. And then, so then opportunities, we just taken opportunities. Um, like Henry was on Great British Menu, representing the Southwest, who's the youngest chef ever to do that and I had a documentary for BBC4 called In Search of a Perfect Loaf so like, when we got opportunities to represent what we love and what we do we took them and because of our I guess uh, our heritage and our skills and our enthusiasm for it uh, we you, you know it worked out and so then uh, some bright spots said oh 
hold on, they're both called Herbert and they're from Chipping Sobri. What if they're related? No way. <laughs> and so when we but also we show. you know we're not uh, we weren't brought up to kind of hold secrets and not you know not share things. It was kind of like no, actually, if you teach people how to do something, they appreciate it a lot more, and then and then they keep coming back and you, you know they buy into it for life. And so it's just an, an opportunity to go from where you might talk to 10 people to suddenly several million people. It's just a bigger platform and so that. Yeah, so like I, I've been teaching bread making courses for 12 years, eight yeah. people at a time for a whole day. I still do them now. Yeah. And uh, it's really intimate, but all the time you're thinking, what do these people want to know? And what do they need to know at home? And what are the barriers to doing, making a great pie or a cake or, you know, Henry teaches sausages or whatever it might be. So we, we've practiced this over and over and over and over again. So just doing it for a big audience is kind of not any different. Having come from a long line of family food lovers, the brothers are not surprisingly rather competitive when it comes to seeing who can come up with the most delicious dish. So if we are talking Brit Rockers Oasis style sibling rivalry, who then would be the Liam Gallagher in the equation? And who would be the Noel? He's, he's ba I'm Noel. He's basically <laughs> no, I'm, sorry, I'm Noel. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I write the rest of <laughs> He writes the right, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I, so we are competitive. There's five of us brothers actually, and we have one sister. Yeah. And so it's noisy in our house, very, very noisy and very competitive. Partly because everyone's just after our mum's attention. She can only listen to one person at a time. So if you do something that's louder, bigger, better, I mean, then you're gonna- I race, I wanna win it, you know. If, if Doesn't Tom's mean that he well. does. And, uh, Cause well, I have all the experience. Most of the time. I know, um, I know the shortcut. But when we're, when we're working together, uh, but in a kind of competitive way, it normally ends up being better than what if we weren't being competitive because we're pushing each other to constantly try and outdo each other that, you know, hopefully you end up with a better result at the end. The dynamic duo were in Malaysia recently to meet the local media to promote the fabulous Baker Brothers at the Star Hill Culinary School. Lucky attendees were treated to a demo session which saw Tom and Herbert serving up that old British classic, the good old chicken and leek pie, as well as an exclusive masterclass which saw journalists, this one included, rolling up their sleeves and trying their hand at making some delicious sticky sticks complete with chocolate dipping sauce, simply delicious. Some like it sweet, but for most die-hard pie lovers, it is the savoury creations that really get the pulses racing. Well, I think it's, uh, it's about getting a good balance. I mean, for me, people quite often ask, what is the, your favourite uh, food combination or flavour combination? And I would say uh, meat and carbs, um, whether that's a, a burger, or a steak sandwich, yeah. a, sam you know, a pie, a, a pasty, whatever it is, you know, roti with some I don't know, curry on top. You know, it's, it's delicious, it works. Yeah. And, uh, and that's really our kind of expertise. So Tom does the kind of the outside, the shell, the, the bread, the paste, whatever, and then I do the filling. Mm. And um, so for, that's our kind of... That's at, the, at the heart of it, that's what it is. Um, yeah, and, and that combination is killer. So yeah, we're, we're both uh, veer slightly more towards the savoury stuff. Although, if there's ladies to impress, <laughs> we're not ashamed to do something sweet from time to time. So at the end of the day, is there a secret to great baking? I think if you want to make your job baking, then you do need to have the passion for it because you know ultimately there's easier ways of making money and it's a job that requires you know a lot of early mornings a lot of hard work you know but amazing smells meeting people creating delicious things so you really have to love what you do otherwise you'd give up the fabulous baker brothers is currently airing on tlc astro channel 707 at 7 30 p.m